Tommy, I got a question for you. When you're trying to get your mother's attention, how do you do it? Well, <laughs> you keep saying your name. You mean like, mommy, 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 mommy. Annoying, isn't it? Mommy, 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 mommy. You want to smack him, don't you? Mommy, 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 mommy. What do you want? I burped. <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did Alex get your attention when he needed you? Mom? Mom? I know if I was really focused on something, he'd have to tap me. <laughs> okay, so he's going to tap you on the shoulder to get your attention. Luis, let's not make this a mommy thing. How did your kids get your attention when they were small? They would hit you. <laughs> you weren't paying a whole lot of attention, were you? Sometimes. Okay. On the Jesus Christ show this morning, a lady called in and described a situation with her daughter and her daughter's health. Uh, the gal was perfectly healthy till age 26, and then because of an overdose of antibiotics, developed lung and, and kidney failure. Uh, they were able to save the lungs, but now she's taking dialysis on a regular basis, and there are other complications, there are always other complications, and other things in the story that make it more difficult. And she said, would you pray with me? And I thought, isn't that interesting? This isn't Jesus. This is the Jesus Christ show. But this isn't Jesus. It's a pretend Jesus. It's a guy named Neil Saavedra, who on Sundays portrays the part of Jesus, but on Saturdays on KFI radio has a cooking show. Yet this woman is calling this pretend Jesus and asking for him to join her in prayer. I believe I've told you before that I used to be a late night telephone psychic. Hey, when you gotta support your family, you do what you gotta do. And when I interviewed for the job, I told them, I'm a church pastor. I am not a psychic. I am not gonna do tarot readings, but I will provide spiritual input to the people who call. And it always amazed me the people who would call the psychic hotline at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe it's no coincidence that's right after the bar is closed, <laughs> and seek my advice. And they would share all sorts of challenges and troubles with me, want to know what's in their future. I even had one fellow one night who called and told me he was engaged to be married, but he wasn't sure if it was the right move could I tell him whether or not it was going to work out? <laughs> and I told him, no, it's not going to work out. And he said, why? He said, because you're calling a telephone psychic at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> to get an answer to a question that only you can answer. You have no idea what kind of nut job I am. As it turns out, you happen to catch a church pastor. Who's taking these phone calls? So let's talk about why you're calling a telephone psychic at 3 o'clock in the morning to find out if you've made a mistake proposing to a girl. Come to find out, he'd been married previously, it had gone badly, and he was afraid of being hurt again. But the point I took from that, and from the radio show this morning, is that people in desperation will go to the strangest places to look for answers to their problems. When the answer is right there in front of us, go to God and pray persistently. Papa, 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 Papa. Now it's not that God's going to get annoyed with your prayers, Carolyn, and say, I will give her the answer just to shut her up. 
Although Madeline and I believe that that's what God did with our mothers, <laughs> both of whom were praying, may, I, may my, my son, my daughter, find the right spouse to marry. And we believe that God finally got tired of listening to their prayers and thought, ooh, I can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Bring Madeline and Ken together and shut both Irene and Patty up. <laughs> I joke about that. But the fact is, God does hear our prayers, and because God loves us, God answers our prayers.